Hi, this is Mix Flores and I'm the founder of Prime Pinoy Community and this is our podcast. We believe that the only way to truly experience success, freedom, and significance is by being top of mind, best in class, and mission driven. And that is what this podcast is all about. I hope this episode adds value to you, inspires possibilities in your heart, and enjoy the rest of the show. Kung ikaw ay nagtatanong, gusto ko coach ng maraming pera, ano nga bang dapat gawin? Alam mo, napakagandang tanong, no? <laughs> And I'll share with you paano nga ba magkaroon ng mas maraming pera through a spiritual law called the law of compensation. Okay? Uh, katulad ng sinasabi natin, it, this is a spiritual law, katulad ito ng law of gravity or katulad ito ng law of attraction, ang tawag dito is the law of compensation. Number one, Find what people need. Lagi nating sinasabi, no? if you want to have a million dollars, help a million people, serve a million individuals. Okay? You cannot be in a space of abundance. You cannot have wealth. No? Not just money, but ultimately wealth and abundance and prosperity if you're not on a mission. If you're not helping, if you're not serving as many people as possible. How will you serve and help as many people as possible? Don't make your product or service as a commodity. Kasi maraming negosyo, maraming venture ngayon, kaya sila medyo nagsastruggle, nahihirapan. Kasi yung negosyo nila is just like any commodity. When you make your business or service a commodity, then ang magiging basihan lang ng competition niyan ay based on price. Ibig sabihin, they will always replace you with the same service or with the same product that can provide a lower price. Okay? That's why you don't want to um, to compete or be in the market just on the basis of it being like a commodity. Again, nothing wrong. Wala namang masama for a uh, commodity-based businesses. Pero you don't want to be there because mag- nawawalan ka ng tinatawag na unique value proposition or unique selling point. Okay? The way you do that para magkaroon ka ng unique value proposition or unique selling point is what? You find out what people need. Ano ba yung gusto ng tao? What problem can you solve? What do people need that you can solve and serve for them? Okay? Number two, be willing to provide for that need. And when I say be willing, hindi pwede na kapag nagsisimula ka may presyo agad. Part of your expenses, of your capital expenditures, no? part ng mga gastusin mo kapag nagsisimula ka is to market yourself. And the best way to market yourself is to provide product like a taste test or service that is pro bono. Ibig sabihin, libre. No? Ibig sabihin, uy, try mo naman itong servisyo ko. Libre lang just for you to figure out, nag-iipon ako ng mga enough testimonials so that people will see how valuable I am um, to their lifestyle or to their livelihood or sa buhay nila. No? You, part of expenditures na gastusin mo kapag nagsisimula ka is to market yourself. And you cannot, di ba, bakit hindi sinusuportahan yung negosyo ko? Bakit? Kilala ka ba? Di ba? Bakit hindi sinisuportahan yung negosyo ko? Bakit alam ba ng tao kung, kung gano'ng kakavaliable? Paano malalaman ng tao kung gano'ng kakavaliable kung gusto mo sa simula pa lang singil agad? You don't want that. Part of it is marketing yourself which means finding out what people want and what people need. Number two, be willing to provide that need. Be willing to provide that want. But number three, most important here is to become the best of class or best in class, no? Become the best in class in that specific product or in that specific service or in that specific niche. Okay? Be the best in class in what you do so you can become what? Indispensable or you can become what? Irreplaceable. Ibig sabihin, no? Um, you wanna make sure na kapag naisip ang produktong ito, produkto mo agad ang top of mind. Kapag naisip ang servisyong ito, ang serbisyo mo agad ang top of mind. Kapag may, merong gathering, merong event, tapos sinabi is this specific product or this specific service ang iisipin ng tao, try mo pare yung kay Mix or try mo pare yung dito, yung sayo. You wanna make sure that you are the top of mind to the minds of every single individual. You are best in class. Bakit? 
Because when you are the top of mind and best in class, you are indispensable, you are irreplaceable, then you will have an abundance of clients. Then you will have an abundance of inquiry. Then you will have a an abundance of leads. Then you will have an abundance of people inquiring about your business. Then you can offer and offer and offer at doon na papasok ang iyong negosyo, 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 proposal, 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 offer, presentation, presentation. Then, welcome to having an abundance of client, abundance of market, abundance of business. All right? If you want to learn more like this, follow for more. Thank you for listening to Prime Pinoy Podcast. I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I hope you get inspired to make your dreams come true. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Laika. It's at Life Coach Mix. And on YouTube, it's Mix Flores. Click the See First button so you get updates constantly. May God bless you.